Alright guys, it is me, Lizalal, back again with another reaction, and yes, apologies for the week off, I have been nursing myself back to health after this terrible cough, but, uh, and hopefully it's getting a bit better, but, um, there should still be, um, if I do cough during this reaction, I do apologise, um, <clears throat> but I feel like I'm gonna look back on this video as a little bit of an outlier, um, because I very rarely uh, do uh, videos uh, requested by, by requested by my friends. Like I, I definitely do do them, but it's just it's just been a while since I've done one. And um, like I used to do them much more often than this. But certainly as my channels become a bit more main, mainstream, I've kind of I've had other stuff which I would like I've tried to kind of which I would like to kind of react to uh, kind of more. Um, not to say that the stuff my friends do isn't entertaining, because, um, oh my god, like, uh, some of the Daylight Twinkles videos are absolutely hilarious, but, um, here, like, because I have, I, I barely even know this, but here, I barely even know this user, if I'm totally honest, so, um, so he's called, uh, Peter Sam, the Narrow Gauge Engine, and he asked me, I've got, I've got the comment here, and he asked so politely, honestly, like, he said, he said, Okay, I'm gonna- I'm gonna read it out to you. Hi, Al. I enjoy your reactions and criticisms- I, Sorry. Hi, Al. I enjoy your reactions and criticisms a lot, and was wondering if you could do it for my own series I've started up called Locomotives. The first two episodes are up, with a third hopefully arriving this weekend. It's totally understandable if you're too busy or simply don't want to, as I'm just some random dude that appeared in your comments section, but it would mean a lot and help me improve- improve and hone my skills. Thanks. So, um, thank you very much for sending me that comment, uh, Peter Sam. You probably, and you probably weren't expecting, I'm not gonna lie, you re you didn't think I'd do this reaction? You didn't, you didn't think I'd react to one? You didn't think I'd do this video? You didn't think I'd react to one, to some of your content because you're just some random dude off the internet? Well, I've got one thing to say to you, pal. Yes, I'm sounding like Joe Scout K9 now, but I have one thing to say to you. You have promise. Like, you have, you have a lot of promise, like, I've seen, um, because another video that you've done, which was actually inspired by, um, my, um, Stories of Sodor, um, ranking video, is that he's done one of his own, and he made some really analytical points, like, he made some really, um, like, points that I didn't even think about, so he definitely, he knows how to kind of separate his opinions, I, f I feel, and it'd be interesting seeing how he applies that to, um, to storytelling, and it's it, I'm so I'm looking forward to this. So um, I so uh, le yeah, lo locomotives and and also you just ask so politely because <laughs> I barely get a kind of such polite like I barely get like requests like that to do uh, kind of re do reactions of their, their own content. But like so basically the only reasons I do I'm doing this is because it's stuff I believe in. Like he's like yeah he's a small user, but there's a big big, big difference between, um, like, content done with all, all this flashy editing and that kind of thing, like, done all this flashy editing and stuff with, like, heart and soul and passion and talent poured into it. So, um, and I'm hoping this series will provide the latter, because, like, I definitely saw it in, uh, the ranking video, like, it was kind of, it was lower end quality, like, he only has, like, what, 300 subscribers? Uh, but, I, he has, he had, but I saw the kind of potential and hopefully that reflects in this um in this series and also just the fact he was actually looking for constructive criticism so he could improve is just is just so um <coughs> <coughs> sorry it's it's just so um it's so important kind of looking for kind of criticism like and i hope he if if i do have any like major kind of issues with it that he will take this forward and improve his series Though, to be honest, I've never really done anything like this. I've never done, like, a Thomas, an original Thomas series, and to be honest, I don't really plan to. But, um, I do, I do hope I will be able to help you, uh, home your skills, uh, through, through this, uh, Peter Sam. Thank you so much for requesting, uh, me to do this, man. Um, so, um, I'm looking forward to this. Drop the video a like if you enjoy, subscribe to the channel too, and subscribe to Peter Sam, the Narrow Gauge Engine, as well. Uh, because if, if, if what, if these three, these next three episodes, oh yeah, I should probably stay, I'm going to react to, um, all three, uh, all three episodes are ten minutes, so I'm going to react to them, I've made a playlist and I'm reacting to them in order, but, um, if you enjoy what you see, if you enjoy this video, then subscribe to him as well, because, um, he, he absolutely deserves it, so, I'm really looking forward to this, ladies and gentlemen, let's get going, so, Locomotives, episode one, season one, episode one, Happy New Year.
Kind of a moody intro, I kind of like it. And it's filmed, of ro filmed in Roblox. Like, I've seen a lot of people... I've seen a lot of people go to uh, Roblox... Oh, blue, Blue E2 is in this, okay, I see. Uh, but I've seen a lot of people resort to mo mind bl uh, Roblox uh, nowadays over um, trains. I don't really use it, to be honest, but I've seen... It does come out with some quite good results, um, a lot of people. And it's a nice kind of seeing alternatives to trains, to be honest. This is a very moody opening, I'm liking it. Rob the Green Engine's in it. It's been a while since I've seen him in anything. Morning Sodor. Wow, 1946. It really feels like we can just get on with our lives now instead of being interrupted by another war. I just can't wait to see Emily and wish her a happy new year. Are you sure that's all you want to do with her? Oh, shut up, James. Shush now, Sir Topham's arriving. Okay, so the, vo the characters, the voices are very spot on, but they just kind of feel... Feels slightly forced, a little bit, maybe. I don't know. Let's see what the fat controller is like. I do love the Happy running. Happy New Year, engines. I do love the running animation in Roblox. It's very now, funny. Now today is a special one indeed. Gordon, you are to collect a special coach from Natford and take a VIP to Kirk Ronan. There's a special party happening there to celebrate the New Year. I'll be joining it, of course, later. James will take your express in the meantime. Neil, you'll be taking some stone trucks to the harbour to Crosby. The rest of you... The sound effects are a little bit weird. Like, you have, like, cars and buses in the background, but... For today, I'll be seeing all of you around, as it were. I said... It's so weird I'll be ta talking to you me. later. He's usually <laughs> up to his eyes in paperwork or state over some engine or another. Yeah, you and him are similar in that way, Rose. Oh! Only joking. I've got a morning train to pull. See you all later. Bye. Writing's good. See you writing soon, is Thomas. good. See I do like the writing. Yes, soon. There's Thomas and the Magic Railroad poster on the. <laughs> There's a Thomas and the Magic Railroad poster on the station. It feels That's really funny. I have to worry about going out to war anymore. I remember going to the front lines once, back in the Great War, and even then, I was a bit past it. What happened? Did your platoon make it? All but one. He was a good engine, hard worker. Oh, I'm sorry. I bet he'd be proud of you. Hopefully. Anyway, I'd better be going. Take these passengers to Hellsbridge. Gordon will be first if I don't get there on time. You know. Actually, Gordon's taking a special train today. James will be waiting for you. A not so pleasant change. Great. <laughs> That's funny. I think the camera work is stellar. Like, I feel very immersed in all this. <clears throat> I don't know why Roblox thought it'd be good to have just a random hill there. I don't know. <laughs> so strange. Yeah, is that sound effect that's a little bit... I don't know, it's using that sound effect. It's a little bit... I don't know. It's about time, Toby. Oh, calm down. I'm only three minutes late. That's less than Percy on a good day. <laughs> but you aren't, Percy. You are one of the most reliable engines on the railway. And I, for one, would like it to stay that way. Thank you, I, I think. <laughs> I, ca I can't tell if that was a compliment or an insult. 
Either way, I have to leave, so goodbye. He's a strange one, our James. <laughs> Oh, Gordon! Never mind you. I'll pop a safety valve if you keep going that fast. Sorry. Are you all right, old boy? Yes. I just can't believe Percy cutting me off at the points like that. Now I have to go all the way around. Maybe not. Park your trucks over in the yard. There's a turntable over there. You can push the trucks to the harbour. Better that than reversing all the way there, I guess. What are you two doing here? Minding our own business, Gordon. I know it's something difficult to understand, but... Well, can't you mind it? Hey, Rob. Else? I've got important passengers aboard. Trust us! If we can meet anywhere where you weren't, we would. But alas, we couldn't. So here we are, keeping you company. Didn't you say this station has a boring view? Ha, ha. Come on, Gordon. We need to leave now. It's good, I'm afraid, but it's only some pipes. It's not the dirtiest job in the world, eh? Oh, I guess. What about the coach? Oh, I could live with that. Just leave it on a different line and go. Oh, thank you, Henry. Anything to get you out of here quicker. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's you good. Think James is having fun with the express. <laughs> oh, I reckon so. The writing in this was really good. Pacing's a little bit off, but you know, it's got really good writing. Hey James, enjoying the express? Yes, I've never been allowed to- I do, I do like that, that little bit of voice acting there, like a bit, been a bit hit and miss some voice acting so far, but that was actually quite nice, the little, like, chuck, the little chuckle admits saying, hey James. Just that kind of that kind of natural sounding, but also character driven, like voice acting. To go so fast, I whoosh through the tunnel back there, and the adrenaline was just amazing. <laughs> Apparently, Gordon's stuck pulling some pipes up to Crosby, so maybe you'll get to pull the evening train. Oh, I would love that. See you later. Bye. <sighs> oh. oh. My pistons and axles ache! I'll be so glad when today's finished. Do you want a hand? No, I'll have the top of sending me to some vintage railway before long. That's not something I'll be enjoying. We'll all end up I do like the implementation of Neil here. Look, I'll drop these off and I'll join you in there for tonight. Us oldies need to have a night away from the young ones every once in a while. <laughs> Speak for yourself, oldie. Hmm. I've never heard what that ditty before. Like, was that a, like a surgery and Afro original piece? Doing just sitting around. <coughs> Doing Sudoku or something. We're really waiting for you. I like our chats on the way back to the sheds. <laughs> so do I. Come on then, slow coach. The sheds beside uh -oh. Kithma Station are empty. Why do I think I know where this is going? Where's Gordon? Probably flaunting around with that special VIP again. No, that coach was still there when I passed by earlier. That VIP went home by limousine, not by train. Maybe he slithered into a ditch or lost his dome again. Ah, there you are. We were becoming concerned. Are you alright? What's happened? It's... It's it's Neil. What about him? He he's um he's he's dead. What? No, y you can't be serious. Do I look? That took like a turn. I'm joking, Edward. What happened? My flatbeds of pipes had derailed outside Henry's tunnel. Neil had to go around and over the hill. And, well, he, he was an old engine. But he didn't deserve that. Nobody's saying he did. Edward, you need to breathe. Just take 
a breath. That took a turn. That took a turn. A solid first episode. You can see the potential, I think. You can really, really see the potential. Like, I think there are certainly kind of some, some things which I do, have, I do have problems with, but I think, I think they're fixable. I'll kind of... We'll see if they're fixed in, like, the second episode before I start kind of judging. I also love this theme, you know. Emmerdale. Oh, my gosh. Okay, it's the Wolf Among Us theme song. Okay, I'm definitely going to have to look that up. That was my doorbell. Fuck. <laughs> Hopefully someone else... I'm not the only the one in the house, so... Will go down. It will go up to the moon. And it's ads. Stop Damn it. If the price will go... Okay, so a new voice actor here. Thwarry's the... I was about to say though, the inspired by Emmerdale. I can I can see the Emmerdale-esque writing here. I can really see the soap opera kind of writing. I don't think it's interesting, but like... I, I, don't, I don't know, it's kind of like... Soap operas are difficult. Like, I think... Yeah, I don't know, I've, I've, I'm not the biggest fan of them. Newcomer. Alright, so I'm guessing this is going to be Neil's replacement. It's nine o'clock now, Gordon. It's time to leave. Yes, sir. The lack of narration really helps carries this, I think. Now, James, after you pull these vans, head to the mine. Rosie has some trucks for you to take back to the good shed by the sheds. Of course, sir. Yeah. You'd better watch it. Times are tough at that mine. Rosie will be on edge. Show nothing out of the ordinary then. Anyway, I need to head out. There are some things I need to deal with. Goodbye! Bye! Rosie's not doing so good. No, it doesn't help that she's isolated from the rest of us on that side of the island. If you like, I could pay her a visit later. Maybe that would help. Something like that might be better safe for the sheds, I think. Okay, I'll be sure to have a word then. See you later, Thomas. My voice, Emily voices are quite annoying, I'm sorry. Like, I'm sure the voice actress is, is lovely, it's just that, that, I don't know, that voice. I don't actually, I don't know, it just sound, it sounds like a point to, I don't know, I don't even, so sorry, sorry. I don't want to offend. Like, what? here's the thing. I'm trying to criticize, but I don't want to offend anyone. Toby, are you alright there? <coughs> <coughs> no, not really. I have too many trains to pull today. Ugh, why did Neil have to go and die like that? Oh, Toby, calm down. Ugh, I'm, it's just, I'm it's sorry. It's just that place. Neil's death has had such a negative impact on the railway. Edward's miserable. There's a lot more work to do, and nothing feels like it's being done. Times will change, Toby. Just look at your own line. You were saved. So Tobin's probably buying an engine as we speak. Hey, Duck. Ugh, great. That's just what I need. Thanks, Percy. Ah. Uh. Duck, is it? Oi, sir, that's me. Excuse me, you're called Duck, like the animal? Indeed, I'm the new engine here. I'll be doing all the shunting so it's easier for you lots. Pa, what's a joke? Wait until Gordon hears about this. <laughs> Watch it, Henry. Okay. I do not like name calling, especially to the new engines. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> It'd be interesting to see how Henry's characterised in this series, now, Doc, considering how inconsistent people are with him. Form by tonight. Can you do that for me? This afternoon, by the size of it. That's a good Squeeze engine. A and if any of the engines are rude, tell me. Uh. I'll deal with the matter. You shouldn't have to put up with such things. Thank you, sir. Good boy. <laughs>
You'll never guess what. There's a new engine called Duck, and you're going to make fun of his name. How did you know? He stopped here asking for directions. He told me his name, and I told him where Nafford was. You seriously don't find it funny, Gordon? Are you kidding? Of course, that's funny than being called Percy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you can see the kind of soap opera structure with like the parts one and two. Percy? What happened? Blithering idiot got himself knocked off the rails by some new engine, honestly. I didn't know, so I don't know why you're blaming this all on me! Alright, alright, settle down you pair. You're worse than the passengers sometimes, look. Let me put my coaches in that spare siding and then I'll take your train. You can take Percy to the sheds to be inspected. I've got no other jobs today. I was supposed to have a washdown, but it looks like I'm not getting that either. Why do I have to help him? Because he's your friend, Toby. And that's what they do, remember? <sighs> I guess you're right. Thank you, Thomas. Any time, mate. <laughs> it was twitching. <laughs> it's like he's got a tick. Why did you shut her around here? My name's Duck. Uh, I'm Edward. I'm surprised Topham's gotten a replacement this quick. What? Who'd I replace? My best friend Neil. He died in a freak accident. Oh my. I'm so sorry. It's not your fault. All right there, Ducky. I hope Edward's not driving you quackers. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, you look worn out already. What year were you built? Yeah, I don't get it. Ducks have bills, Henry. Oh my god. Hey, leave him alone. Oh, How can you Thomas, see him? Sometimes you're so annoying, and sometimes you're too big-headed. Thomas, you're just a little tank engine. What would you know about anything? You want to talk turntables, bootlaces... Domes, ditches, tunnels, and elephants. Is there anything you can't make a mess of between the three of you? Humph! <laughs> Were I not standing here listening to this? Let's go. Are you all right, Duck? Yes, I've ran to countless of their type. Well, I'm surprised you didn't defend him, Edward. I thought you'd have more sense. Whatever, Thomas. Interesting. I heard about Neil. I'm sorry. Aren't we all? Hey, when you finish shunting, could you do me a favour? Your racing here has caused a friend of mine to derail at Tidmer Station. Could you go and help him and his tram friend with the- Thomas's characterization is perfect. Of course. Thomas's characterization here is perfect. I'm just saying, like, this is perfect characterization of Thomas. Like, it's kind of, like, especially kind of, like, an older version of Thomas. Like, he's still got kind of- He's got, he's got, he's, he's, che he's still a bit cheeky, but it's so subtle and it's, you need to look really hard for it. And I can't, and I really like that because like, like, especially like you think of like the times where he matures and becomes a bit nicer, that kind of, there's a, there is a dynamic characterization of Thomas. He's starting off as a little bit more mature. This is perfect if you're going for like a, um, a mature, a more mature Thomas. Excellent. Take my branch line. No one's using it at this time. And I think the voice performance is really good. Like how, just how he's kind of, just how he, um, just how he pronounces his words kind of, are like he misses certain letters, like he misses, like you always get with like Cockney accents, how he misses some, they miss some like the T, so it's like instead of water, it's water. I kind of, it's a bit kind of subtle, kind of missing of the letters there. There's real like authenticity in the voices, I feel, and it really fits. <coughs> Any sheds about? Any sheds about? You can use this one here. I'm sure Thomas won't mind. No, I won't. Go ahead, I'll go to Natford Sheds with Emily. It's been a while since we caught up. Oh, thanks, Thomas. And I kind of like how he carries the story a bit. It's a very good structure. Oh, you've loved today. Although those big edges and that Edward are a crappy lot. Oh, give him a moment. He's grieving. 
Give it time though and he'll come around. That's right. We can't all stay in the past forever. Not even Edward. Definitely much better than the first one. Like the first one was kind of all over the place and just didn't really, didn't really open, uh, in, introduce me to the characters. I feel enough, but here there's kind of there's more of a kind of storyline and that um, that um, soap opera Emma Dale inspired writing is really apparent, apparent here. Like I like I feel like it's an interesting choice, but I feel like there's a market for that. Like kind of like stories of Sodor, yet yeah, kind of it kind of mar it kind of used that. But at the same time, it's still kind of a bit different. It feels like a kind of original show, kind of having that kind of soap opera um, kind of kind of thing. There's a market for that kind of thing, especially like in just a kind of a purely like grounded um, with with kind of really like witty with an emphasis on writing. There's a market for that kind of thing in this in this fandom, I reckon. Also, that theme is still a banger. That me that meme is still a banger. Creator of CBR series action. Oh. Well, that's made things awkward. Can I join your alliance, please? Our alliance doesn't allow for low power. Hang on a minute. Oh, I, I accident. Oh, I accident. I accidentally added the second one twice. <laughs> My bad. Okay, kindness. So apparently, this is the most recent one. This is the most recent one. So it'd be interesting seeing kind of like um, Ed Edward. I really find it interesting the characterization of Edward here, just how how grief affects even like the nicest engines, and it makes them kind of seem how it changes people. You know, like granted, I haven't really experienced like that kind of grief, but I think it's a really interesting kind of point to make. Like, there's so much. <laughs> also, Dana keeps changing her name, <laughs> but there's so much. Um... I don't, I don't know. There's so, there's so much talent in this. There's so much talent in this. So I was thinking. I just feel like I the pacing. I just feel like maybe the pacing, and also maybe the structure, could be a bit like you could kind of lengthen out, widen out the series a little bit, like make them like twenty minutes instead of just eight minutes. Hectic life of branch lines. I used to shun, and I like to think I was pretty good. So fancy doing my job for a day? Only today, mind you. I don't need more chaos on that line. Oh, really? <laughs> That'll be wonderful. You have a morning train to pull. Go to Tidmouth, get Annie and Clarabelle, and then come here on Platform 5. Then switch on to the branch line. Stop at every station besides Farquhar until we get to Ellsbridge, which is where the service ends. Then come back here, I'll tell you the rest. Alright then, Thomas. I'll get going now. No! <laughs> gives me Soto Dark Times vibes, you know, for some reason. It's just the actual, like, I don't know, maybe it's like the knack lack of the narrator and just the overall mood of it all. Like, if, for example, we've had an engine die, but for some reason, it kind of reminds me of, um, so the, um, not, not the original Scarlet 123, uh, series, but, like, the new one. That's to... <laughs> it kind of reminds me of that. I heard about your argument with Thomas and Duck the other day, and I must say, I'm I must ashamed. Say. Emily's already given me all this. Please, not again. Yes, again. Leave that duck alone. I swear you'll find yourself back in that tunnel and with the elephant. Do I make myself clear? Oh, that, ele hey, yes. that elephant's long gone, Good. sweetheart. Leave Thomas and Duck alone. How does Thomas put up with that? <laughs> that face. <coughs> <coughs> Oh, hello, Doc. Uh, Doc, where's Thomas? He's shouting for me, so I can do this. My very first passenger train. Oh, are Annie and Clara okay with this? Oh no, Toby! He's so rough riding and stops way too harshly. 
Oi, shut it, you, you cattle truck. That's, it's so strange, because like in the runaway, uh, when Duck actually took over from, um, I'm sorry, I'm going very nerdy here, but um, my, when, in the runaway, when Duck took, o took over Annie and Clarabelle from Thomas, <laughs> he was actually very gentle with them, so Stop. it's interesting kind of character change. These aren't trucks. You may not deal with non-faceless carriages in the yard, but okay, so the non faceless thing is is in this. Stock with respect. Be mindful of them. Oh, uh, oi, oi, I'm sorry. I should think so too. Now, go on to Ellsbridge. <laughs> Henry will be <laughs> waiting. <laughs> See you later. He's not as delicate like Thomas. He's not smooth riding like Thomas. Not at all. I'll tell you, when Henrietta hears about this, she'll be most disgusted. She might pass out from the shock to you. Hello, Henry. Sound effects are always so difficult to do uh, in like for like someone's first time out. Like they always one of the, one of the key things people always struggle with is like audio and sound and sound effect mixing because it's a very difficult thing to do. It's so much harder than people think. But I, 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 I don't know. It's just like kind of just keeping that in mind that maybe kind of. I'm sorry, Doc. So always being aware being of these kind of things. Really silly yesterday going along with them. Can you forgive me? That's all right. I uh, I've been the nicest today myself. Quack, quack, duck. <laughs> You'll soon stop. Yeah. Right. How soon? Oh. That's what I want to know. Go to a butcher's sausage. Hello, Edward. Are you all right? I'm proud of that clapback, you know. <laughs> I'm quite proud of that. Yeah. Just a bit tired is all. Don't worry, I'm sure you'll make it. Oh. Who stops with the express? <laughs> Who stops with the express? I hope so. I kind of like how he's nice to Edward. That's good kind of characterization. He was most dreadful, Trucks. Dreadful. Most dreadful indeed. He bumped us and banged us. And oh no! Don't. On my you... on my roof. He seemed all right to me. He was telling us stories of his time over in England. He told us how he braved the storm. To <laughs> He sounds like Stitch! He sounds like Stitch! <laughs> oh, that's funny. You two are just snobbish. All coaches are. Rubbish. Well, All coaches are. Never. If we can move freely, we'd be out of here right now, you dirty pieces of scrap. Okay, Aaron Carabell. Characterization's a bit harsh, but okay. Oi, Thomas. Doc, did you call Annie and Clara about cattle trucks? Yeah. I'm sorry. I've worked with a lot of things in the past, but never were coaches like yours. You should count yourself lucky to have them. I do. Look, I've got <coughs> for today. I'll take over from you. In the meantime, head over to the mines. Rosie will be over there and she wanted me to take a train of coal to the docks when I have the time. Of course. <laughs> Oh, brother. Uh, uh, hey, Thomas! Is it possible you could help me in the quarry? Well, considering I just got up to do my only other job, of course I can. Thanks for that. Hello, Rosie. Oh, hey, Doc. Just take these to the docks, please. Bring the trucks back when you're done. There's still so much work to do. And if you see Thomas, tell him I want a word. Oh, uh, okay. Is, uh, everything all right? Oh, nothing for you to worry about. All right. See you later. That was a good sound effect he used, he found. With like the axing and stuff. The ambience of a quarry. Well, Gordon, this is one of your faster times. The fact controller is standing underneath a photograph of himself. I must say, I'm impressed. <laughs> Thank you, sir. 
But there's one more thing I need you to do. Edward's still not Thank alive. You, I am worried about him, you know. Go back and check on him. Help him here, if need be. Of course, sir. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry for the yawn. I'm not bored, oh, I'm just... Edward. I can do it, Gordon. Edward. Oh, Gordon. I don't know how I'm going to manage without him. He was my best friend. By asking for help, it is okay to do that, you know. And I'll be with you every step of the way until you're you again. Aww. No matter how long it takes. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, oh, that touched my heart. Yeah, that touched my heart. Yeah, that ending touched my heart. The rest of the episode, I'd, I'd say probably uh, the third episode is my favourite. But that ending, man, that ending of that third episode. Oh. Oh. So I'm gonna I'm gonna end it I'm gonna end it here and then I'll kind of give my thoughts on it. Um, it's got real real promise. That series has so much promise, man. Like honestly, it's um, <laughs> like I think there are definitely kind of issues. Specifically, um, like I think the writing itself is very good. It's just the pacing that I am a little bit kind of off about. Because, like, there are all these different subplots, and I just don't feel like eight minutes is an appropriate time, is just enough time for you to develop them, like, within the space of an episode. And um, also there are a few, like, technical issues, but at the same time, those technical issues, they're stuff that, that gets fixed um, with when you have more experience. Like, when rinse and repeat, like, I've only been doing it for a year, and already, like... I can already tell the difference between, like, um, editing, with, like, editing skills, like... It's just, it's just some, it's just practice, really, especially, especially with audio, like, it's just, like, just practicing and constantly, like, trying new things and having, like, creative decisions in mind, like, what, what fits, um, this scene and what, it's, it's just something that comes, like, with experience, I think, but I think the more you kind of throw yourself into this series, the more you kind of develop, uh, your characters and develop a kind of arc, and, Definitely kind of fix like the pacing issues and a few few of the voice act few of the voices could be done. It's more or less because here's the thing: there's definitely authenticity, like the voices fit, but I just wish they had more emotion. Like some of them, I feel, and like even like this isn't just you, Peter Sam, but also the other voices actors as well. Like Rob the Green Engine, he did a very good job. I think his his Duck and Henry voices very fit are very fitting and very kind of and have actual character to them. It's just I feel like um, it could be a bit more emotional. Maybe because like I, I specialize as a voice actor that it could be more kind of. Um, but like you know what I'm I'm gonna stop with the negatives. I'm gonna stop with the negatives now because that's basic. That's basically what uh, some of the characterization in general could be done done a bit kind of. But but um like that's it with the negatives really because. God the writing and just the idea the idea that you have. It's, um, it's got so much promise. You can take this to the moon, I think. This project is something that there is a market for in this, in this fandom. This is something, like, this is something that genuine, this is something I believe in. And you know, do you know what? This is something, if you, if you need help with it, then I'm very willing to kind of, I'm very willing to offer my assistance, whether it be like a voice actor or an editor or a writer, like, if you need any, any help, do let me know, because this is something I believe in, this is something which I think can go somewhere, because there's talent by, like I said at the beginning, there's a huge difference between something with, um, like, editing kind of prowess, that would, like, th it just feel when something's just, like, editing, but has, like, no talent behind it, it's just tacky, but I much prefer a, a, um, like, some co content, some, like, um, lower end quality content but with talent passion and promise rather than something with just kind of that looks pretty and that's it like i much prefer like just what you've the kind of style that you're going for like there are some issues that can be fixed that could be fixed but they are so they are fixable with time like just the more you kind of 
the get the more you kind of get used to kind of certain things and how you kind of you kind of find out what your strengths and weaknesses are, especially regarding the series, and also not just with the series, but also as a person. Like what is your what inspires you? What is your talent? What is your passion? You will find it, uh, Peter Sam, and kind of because I think there's but the potential this series has is a lot. It just it just needs that extra little push, I reckon. And I'm glad I did this reaction because it's it's really got um. Because I really enjoyed it. I really enjoy the kind of concept and the writing and just a lot of... There's a lot of stuff to like about this project. And I hope... I hope to God, like... Like, I, ho- I hope it gets the praise that it, it'll deserve when when this series, like, eventually gets better. Which I know it will with time. Because, honestly, I feel... If I could... Ne- like, I feel like this deserves it. Like, I don't... I don't often do uh, stuff that people recommend me. But this is something I believe in. This is something I really believe in. So, uh, Peter Sam, um, you've got something here. You've really got something here. And I hope, like I said, I really hope this project goes as far as you want it to be, want it to go, because it has so much potential. It's so much potential, man. And I'm willing to help. I'm willing to offer my services in any way I can. Um, so, yeah, that was uh, Peter Sam, um, the Narrow Gauge Engines uh, locomo- locomotive series. And... I hope you guys enjoyed that as well, um, as much as I did. So, um, drop, the, drop the video a like if you enjoy. Subscribe to the channel too. Subscribe to Peter Sam the Narrow Gauge as well. God, ble- God bless all of you and have a great day.